says when it comes to monster movies tackling the unknown i think these beings these being the unknown is the appeal when we live life on autopilot in a rut in a boring routine we crave something new and unknown i think you're onto something there and i also think that It's not just an appeal or it's, I think you, I would agree with you, I don't, but I think it's even more than that. I think it's even deeper. It's not just the appeal of the unknown. I think it's also, I want to say uh, an, an appeal for something bigger than us, you know? So maybe that's, you know, in a world where we've just really divorced our culture, our popular culture from any idea of God. Plenty of people are religious. Plenty of people, you know, still believe in God as we do, um, you know, as I do, but you know, popular culture itself, daily life, daily, you know, media and whatnot is just very much uh, divorced from any kind of idea of God or, or even a higher power anymore. It used to be that um, there were at least sort of uh, a, a sort of consensus that there was at least a higher power. And you would see that reflected, whether it was a new age re reaction or whatever, but you would see, still see that reflected in the world. Now, uh, scientism has replaced any concept of, of religion in the popular culture, you know, the greater popular, you know, consciousness and it, it's scientism. Now it's, it's the idea of, um, you know, you follow the science, science and technology, you know, we're, we're in, in, you know, a great giant monster movies, like screw your technology, bam, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, so there is something appealing to that, that you can't just, you know, cause scientism I think is ultimately a worship of our own minds. That's not anything against science. Science is great. Scientism is is placing science as the as the godlike thing on the throne. Uh, I can't believe anything unless it's scientifically proven. You know, um, which doesn't mean you need to believe something against science necessarily, but it just you know you get science off of that you know, religious throne. That's ridiculous. And and monster movies, whether people know that or not, is uh, is sort of a way to to deal with that tension of the desire we have as humans for something bigger than us whether you're religious or not the human psychology has always yearned to be in awe of something bigger than us and science scientism claims and i'm saying scientism not just science i'm not anti-science but scientism claims that it is um oh no we're all about the wonder of the universe oh wow the wonder of the no you're about understand the universe is at your fingertips we can understand everything out there given enough time, you know? So there's really is nothing truly bigger than yourself when it comes to a scientism uh, mindset, uh, at least not for long, you know, uh, theoretically. And so, yeah, I think there's definitely, I think you're onto something with this. Could, uh, could say in a culture where we have now come to be worshipers of ourselves, to live only for ourselves, there's nothing bigger than ourselves. Here comes beings to humble and shatter that mindset. That's a really, I'm really glad you, you gave that super chat because it kind of um, puts me in mind of, of another aspect of this. You're right. We do worship ourselves on one hand, you know, you could take it on and sort of the scientism angle, but also with, with the advances in medicine, you know, which are great, but the advances in the technology of it and a lot of the advances here and there, we do live in a culture now that is doesn't understand needing to give of yourself. We live in a culture in general that is pretty selfish. Think about how many, you know, it used to just be the accepted norm that most people grew up, got married and had children. And, you know, people, some people didn't, and that's fine, whatever. Now, a lot of younger people, they're either having, they're waiting a lot longer to have kids or they're deciding not to have kids whatsoever. And that you don't need to have kids. That's, I mean, that's not an individual thing. Like every single one of you should be ashamed of yourself for not having kids. No, of course not. But there is that, that push in the culture where now it's like kids. Oh my gosh. Then I can't do the stuff I want to do. <laughs> then I, I, I couldn't sleep in until I wanted to sleep in. I'd have to live my life for somebody else. Oh no, I'm not ready for that. No, no, no. You know, and you see that, uh, you know, that's, that's part of the woke culture right away. You know, that, oh, I just want to be an auntie. <laughs> I don't want to be a mother, <laughs> you know? of course, because then you'd actually have to live for somebody other than yourself and actually have to experience true selflessness and true self giving, which is what humanity is about. Think of it from an evolutionary perspective. Um, 
you know, tribalism, um, you know, uh, community, a social, we're social creatures. You know, if, if the human beings are to survive, they have to work together. You know, think of it like in, you know, um, ancient man. And, it, and it's still the same today, but our technology uh, isolates us. And I'm not anti-technology. Again, you know, Mr. Introvert Social Anxiety, give me my internet in an empty room any day. You know? <laughs> but, uh, but, but we're, we're so isolated that we're not self-giving. We're all about living for ourselves now. And uh, yeah, a big giant monster comes into the room. You better look up from your phone and, and go try and find somebody to help you or work together with other people. So it does part of that. It does force us to, to, to work together and forces us uh, to acknowledge and um, accept or practice the, the, the social aspect that, that we are built for. And, and by social, I don't mean social media. I mean, in person, you know, um, helping each other, giving of ourselves. That's why I loved about the 2014 Godzilla movie. And it's, it's been evident in the other films as well, but, um, Aaron Johnson's character, uh, he's just constantly, whether he's helping his father, where he's helping the kid that, you know, got lost or whatever. And he's, uh, he, he's constantly giving of himself and, and, and everybody is, you know, th those movies, um, do a good job of highlighting that. I mean, there's the dark side of humanity too, and what they would do in response to that. But there is the the idea of humanity pulling together in in, uh, in the face of a big disaster like that, which is pretty cool. Tom Spiegel, thank you so much for the twenty dollars super chat. That's that's yeah, I very much appreciate that. Um, the hypothalamus is the part of your brain that enables you to be in awe of something. The antidepressants, puberty blockers, and other drugs that are so popular nowadays harm that. Now, time for me to go get coffee. Yeah. Um, now, I'm not an expert on the chemistry of a lot of these things, but you are right. Um, you know, SSRIs and uh, the puberty blockers. I mean, that plays into what I was saying, too, about let's not have kids. Let's let's be sterile. Let's, um, you know, we've got the, 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 the medicine to do that now, you know, and uh, our, our technology. I don't even call it medicine necessarily. But, yeah, so there's a lot of that. I mean, I'm sure there's a place for, for an antidepressant here or there or whatever. Again, I'm no expert on that. But you are right. We we have altered our brains not only by the technology we have, TikTok and stuff like that, but also by a lot of the the medicines that, that doctors just dole out easily now. You know, I mean, all you have to do is go to your doctor and say, I've been feeling kind of down. And they'll throw Prozac at you. They'll just give it to you, you know, like candy, you know, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a, that's a pretty heavy medication. And I'm not saying there's not a time and a place for it, but you should just be like tossing that out to anybody who has a bad day, you know? And, um, I mean, actual psychiatrists who, who deal with, with proper medications and stuff like that, they'll tell you, you know, the, the, you know, um, family care physicians or, or general practitioners are really need to stop it with this nonsense and, and, you know, stop just doling things like that out. So, yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> Godzilla or King Kong, you know, they come to town, they don't, they don't care about your anxiety. They don't care about your, uh, you know, your depression. They don't care about what you identify as, <laughs> you know, you better get up and, 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 you um, know, band together with humans and so forth. I mean, um, when we, when we, when we worship ourselves, we're never going to, um, find fulfillment because we're made for self giving. And again, whether you look at that as from a religious perspective, like I do, or even just, again, as I said, just an evolutionary perspective, uh, you know, we've evolved as social beings. We, we can't find fulfillment. We can't find survival without each other. Eldridge fan, thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate that. It said scientism. One day we will be able to photograph the face of God, whether he wants us to or not. <laughs> exactly. Really, I mean, um, whether you're 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 Christian or not, or, or spiritual or not in any way, go back and read the story of the Tower of Babel. It really is a great sort of metaphor for um for scientism today. And again, make sure you say the right scientism. It's not uh anti-science it's scientism placing science on the on the throne of humanity and stuff like that in terms of being worshipped or whatnot i am uh i've like i said i've enjoyed those movies so much that i would i shouldn't say this i would be open to watching some of the older ones that's not it's not an uh an invitation for for recommendations by any means but uh but 
Yeah, yeah, I should probably watch some. Yeah, I like the the old King Kong movie, so I should watch some more of the old Godzilla stuff here and there. Now and then, anyway. <laughs> 